Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my new series on my channel where I'll be playing Flight Simulator X plus the Acceleration Expansion Pack. Th th this should be really really fun hopefully. Uh, I'll be taking you through my Flight Simulator journey. I'll be playing every single mission on this list. I'm not quite sure how many there are. There's a f there's a fair few though, all ranging difficulties. And even when I've you know actually finished all these, I could try downloading some more. So yeah, guys, uh, just just let me know what you think of this. And uh, I've set the realism settings to easy, so it's probably not very realistic in terms of crashes because I'll probably survive most most pretty much all the crashes because it doesn't actually detect it. But Actually, I'll, let me check the settings very quickly. Realism. Yeah, it's very easy. Look, unlimited fuel, all, all that stuff. Um, if you want me to change that, like the fuel stuff and the crashes, then let me know, and I will change them. But it's just it. These are actually the default settings. So yeah. And those are the graphic settings as well. That's uh, that, that. That's what I'm going to be using. But yeah, I will now go into the first mission on Flight Simulator X Acceleration, which is Tutorial One First Takeoff. So I will see you there. Then you'll make your first. Hello, everyone. We are here for our very first right takeoff. Yes, this is tutorial All mission one. In this tutorial Not exactly sure why this thing's so small. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to navigate and look briefing. around. Then you'll make your first takeoff and landing. Click the on the screen right now, you can see the knee board. All of the instructions in this tutorial recorded on the messages page. The briefing page displays the display. The briefing page displays the mission briefings. Close the knee board, click the X in the upper corner, open again, press shift. This is one of the longest runways you question mark are sitting in an air creation trike ultralight in the runway. You can navigate in runway 15 of the Edwards Air Force Base in California. This is one of the longest runways in the world. Same runway. Oh, it's fucking so short. Sorry, you don't you don't get much time to read it. This is the same runway. The space shuttle sometimes lands on hold. Shit, item of interest. Runway, then. The in missions you can navigate using the mission compass and the mission pointer. The objective, See the gauge in the upper left corner of the screen. That's the mission well compass. It'll triangle the answer of the rotating heading indicator. See points the big the marker in front of you? That's the mission pointer. Points to the it selected object or item of interest. The text below the indicator tells you the name of the objective. It's altitude. Missions, fucking hell! Stop bloody moving! <laughs> Above sea level as well as your distance from it. Why should you get this in audio? It'll be a lot easier. See the big mark in front of you? That's the mission point. It points to objective right items of interest. Some missions there will be more than objective, more than one objective item of interest. You can change which item the mission comes and point to point to by pressing the K key. You can add the mission comes and point by pressing the U key. So look around with the hat Feel switch to on top of your joystick or press and hold the space bar. I only have a keyboard to the space bar. The move mouse to look around. Feel free to experiment by looking around your aircraft now. You can also try different keys. views by pressing F9, F10, F11 and F12. Press one when you're done experimenting with views, press 1 to progress to the next phase of the tutorial. So we're looking around here. It's a little plane that rains, obviously not a very big one. Let's press F9. F10, oh wow, F11 and F12, holy shit, <laughs> yeah, who the hell's going to want to use that view, Jesus Christ, I think I prefer the Virgil, actually no, which one do I prefer, the, prefer the cockpit, the Virgil cockpit, I think I just, just about prefer the Virgil cockpit, yes, I'm ready, <laughs> You can right, so you can control an aircraft by simulating a joystick, you can control the mouse or the arrow keys on the keyboard. The mouse or okay. the arrow keys on the keyboard. Time to go flying. Time to go You're flying. Going to You're going to start the engine, release the brakes, the brakes take off, fly through some gates, and then land again. Oh, it's too gates, daunting for me. Come on. Again. I don't want to do this. First, yeah. move the throttle to <laughs> idle. If you don't have Firstly, a joystick move the thought to idle. If you don't have a joystick or a universal key. controller, press Next, the F1 start key. The Next, engine. start the ultralight press engine. Control press Ctrl e plus E or click the ignition switch on the, switch on the panel. instrument panel. You can control the throttle using the throttle what? lever on a joystick if you by pressing buttons on a universal press the controller F1 key. or by pressing the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys on the keyboard. And control plus E. The instructions in this tutorial are generalized oh, to apply to I any of these methods. 
For details um, about using different types of controllers, refer to the quick reference card or to the briefing for this mission. Now, I just realized it actually was on audio, the trigger button but I had my volume turned off. Press oh, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I'm such an idiot. That's a great. Release the parking brake. Pull the trigger button on the Press the parry key. Press the parry key. There we go. Ready for takeoff? Yes. Smoothly advance the throttle to full. If you don't have a joystick, press the F4 key. F4. Taking off is easy. So F4 is full throttle. 30 miles per hour. Gently pull the stick towards you, and the aircraft will fly off the runway. Pull okay, you know what? Stick a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use cockpit view. Uh, yeah, I'll, I, I'll pull up now. Congratulations, you're flying. Woo! Pull back gently on the stick and climb a bit to fly I'm flying, I don't believe it. In front of you. I'm flying, guys. I'm such an idiot, though. I had, I had, I had my headset turned down to, to pretty much no volume, and I didn't realize the audio was coming through as well as the text. I'm, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I was probably, I was probably talking over that guy so, so much. Ugh. Anyway, did I miss any of the two tutorial instructions there? Uh, just, just Wait, the quick reference card. Now okay. climb a bit more and fly through the second gate. Climb a bit more. Okay. I am flying. So, so yeah. What I've learned so far is that the F4 key is just full throttle, I believe. So. Now reduce there we the go. throttle a bit and slow down. The next gate is a little lower than the last. How do I reduce the throttle? Once you get through it. Is it F3? Yeah, it's uh, it's F2. It's F2 to lower the throttle. F3 to raise it. F4 is max, and F4 is F1. Good just job. Turn it off. Now reduce the throttle all the way and use the stick to adjust your descent rate. Okay, so, so so the throttle has been turned off now. So obviously we have to try and level out. Just just land here. Oh uh, oh, uh, I can see the pointer in the background there. Oh my lord. Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous I'm going to crash this even though even though I know Pull the crash is done. Stick and level out. Try to float over the runway as long as possible. Now break. Oh my god. Pull the trigger on your joystick. Period. Press the period key. Come to a complete stop. Nice landing. Oh, I did it. Press I don't believe it. To end the mission. Or take off again to explore on your own. I'm just gonna end the mission, guys. Okay. So I know, I know, I know this has probably been a short video, but I'll probably record another the second mission right after this. But yeah, that this has just been a quick introduction to the series, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends. Stay tuned for our episode to Fly Simulator X plus acceleration. If you have any suggestions for games that I can play on this channel, then please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks again guys, have a nice day, cheers, bye.